This book, An Illustrated Guide to Python 3, is both awesome and by a mentor of mine, yet it has some shortcomings. So in this video, I'm going to try and give a honest reaction to this, for the most part, really good book. Let's do it. My quick summary of this book is that it is a walkthrough of Python fundamentals that uses diagrams to show how Python really works. And it absolutely succeeds at that. I can't recommend this book enough if you are starting to get into Python or you are at the intermediate level and you just want to get a, a tighter understanding of how it works under the hood. It's digest size, it's 245 pages, so it's concise and it's very, very handy. The cover is attractive. <laughs> And the title gives a pretty good description as to what is going to happen in the book. One of the nice things I like about this book is it doesn't stop at simplistic explanations. It does describe and show how Python really works. You, you can see that there are diagrams of how Python works under the hood. And these are sprinkled generously throughout the book. I like these diagrams. They really, really help explain how Python works. The big downside to it is these aren't illustrations. These are diagrams. If you wanna see what a illustration looks like, that is an illustration. Perhaps I'm being pedantic about this. However, with Python, we have this thing where you're supposed to be more explicit than implicit. So perhaps I'm nitpicking, but this is indeed not an illustrated guide, but a diagrammed guide. So keep that in mind when you buy the book. As you dive into the book, you will discover that each chapter and section ha has numbers in it. And this is really useful because, for example, if you're trying to look at chapter 17, section one, which is on invoking functions, you can reference it with your coworkers or should you talk to Matt, you can say, hey, in this section, I, I have a question. And this is important because the way the book will lay out in print, in PDF and Kindle and EPUB, each one of those is different. So it's really important for authors to, or publishers to put chapters and section numbers in. It would also, it would have been better if the code elements, the code examples have been numbered, but that's actually pretty hard to do and not chew up a lot of page real estate. So I, I completely understand Matt deciding not to number his code examples. Matt's writing voice is really comfortable to read. Writing about tech is hard because it is dry content, yet he seems to imbue what he writes with enough life that I can continue reading his stuff all day. The editing in this is really good. I didn't spot anything jarring. I'm not the best editor though, so I'm a writer, not an editor. So if you disagree with that, too bad. I think it's fine. If I do have another problem besides the name not being exactly accurate, you know, this should be called the diagrammed guide to Python 3, the text in the book version is really, really small. It is, this is a concise, tight book. And I actually, to be able to best read it, I have to take off my reading glasses to read Matt's book. That, however, isn't a problem for me when I use the PDF version or the EPUB version and, and Kindle versions that I bought. My reaction to this book is two thumbs up. Matt delivers a really strong beginner's Python book that will take you from, hey, I, what's this thing called Python? To, hey, I understand this thing called Python. To, hey, I'm starting to understand how it works under the hood. And this is really different from the hordes of simplistic Python books out there. So I think this is a great book for beginners. As before, if I have criticisms, it is with the title not being 100% accurate and that the text in the print version is a bit on the small side for people like me who 
have trouble reading small things. If you plan to buy this book, which I recommend you do if you're starting your Python journey, please use the links below. Matt will get paid for the hard work that he's put into it. If you're buying it from a link that is not below, those aren't official places and those will be pirate vendors. So Matt would be getting nothing by you buying it from the anywhere else besides where I'm linking to below. If you enjoyed this video, please like it as well as subscribe to my channel. I will put out more stuff if more people subscribe. Also, if you want me to react to another book, please mention it in the comments below and I will get to it. Thank you so much and see you next time.